Hey Nesters, welcome back to the channel and we are back at another Goodwill. This one is across the bridge, so we are at the smaller Goodwill. Let's check out the store and see what they have today. Uh, I have an owl train coming up. I was kind of looking at this. They're asking six. It's a little stained, a little rough shape. I think I'm going to pass on it, but uh, if it was a little nicer, I probably would have snagged it. It was pretty cool. So this is everyone that's participating in the owl train on whatnot on Saturday, November 11th. Here are the times and everyone. So I hope you guys can come over and join us. It's going to be a lot of fun. Everyone is going to have owls. Oh, look at this cute little needlework piece. Get some wine and fruit and cheese. Two dollars. It's got the little handmade hanger at the back. What is this? This looks so odd to me. Okay, she's some kind of like vanity, I guess. I love Bug. Oh, it's cute. I was thinking about something I could raid Kate with at Follow That Bug during the owl train. I, I love these little samplers. This one's cute for two bucks. I'll probably get that to sell over on knickknacks. Oh, this is adorable. A little happy face reindeer. I wonder if Yvonne has one of these. <laughs> Two dollars on that. Cute. So I'm not interested in those bowls, but I am interested in these bowls. So six dollars for the set of three. I love this one here. Look at the nice design around the edge. I don't really want the chipped one, however. Uh, it's kind of odd they're selling them as a set. This one's, I guess they kind of look similar, but I mean, what am I going to do with a chip bowl? That one looks okay. I think I'm going to ask up front if I can just get this one for like $2 instead because I do like that bowl. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. <laughs> if your face is smiling, folks smile right back at you. It's a cute little picture. I like the purple on it. It's kind of unique, really. It's kind of a cute plate. Got a bicentennial calendar plate there. Ooh, a kitty cat. What is this one? Looks like a wine bottle of sorts. Oh, it is. It came with something at some point. It's a little scratched up, unfortunately. Uh, the green's kind of coming off of it. In spots. I probably would have snagged it because I think it's a really cool decorative piece. You could take that sticker off and... Uh, Makes for a great little nicky knack, but yeah, see all that green's coming off of it. Look at their little cork, has little stamped kitty cats too. <laughs> That's fine. It's a little milk glass pitcher. Not sure what's supposed to be on there. $10 though. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> Here's a Pyrex bowl. $6 on that. Uh, it doesn't look too bad actually. Is missing the lid. This is a cool pottery piece. Look at the scribble for the signature. Like, come on, make legible <laughs> signatures for us. That like pottery, we want to know who made it. The pump on that was really gross. A little Disney craft up here. I've seen this a few times before. This one's got a honking chip right there. Six bucks on that. These are cute. They are flashed painted. You can see the flashed paints coming off of it, but look at how cool they look. And there's a couple more over here. Those are fun. I spy cats. Let's see what this is. A little wooden tray with cat handles. This is so cute. Six dollars. Uh, the size isn't too intimidating. I think I can ship this and that's really fine. Look how good that is. Who wouldn't want that? That's cute. It is modern, but I think it's cute. Here's another little kitty cat. The cupcake she has. Oh, it's a sugar or jam jar. Two bucks on that. It's Avon, I think it says. 1991 Avon collectibles. So I'm pondering because, I mean, Avon's Something that's maybe not the most desirable, but it's cute. I like the cupcake. I like that it's a jam jar, so I think I'm going to get it. And then look at this one. A little kitty cat family. A little trio. 
That's super cute. I love when there's multiple cats. This is another home interiors piece. Uh, it looks to be in good condition. A little dusty. Everything's always so dirty and dusty at the thrift store, right? <laughs> My hands are always so gross after thrifting, but um, it's okay. They clean up. <laughs> Everything cleans up, so that's good. I think I'm going to get that. And we cut a little bag of... Looks like Bone China Siamese Cats. Is that what it is? $2 on that bag. That's pretty good. Uh, doesn't look like there's any damage on them. What is this bag? Uh, little seagulls, I guess. Just two in there. I can't see if the wings are very repaired or anything. I'm a little nervous about those ones. But I do think I'm going to snag the cats for sure. Those are great. I love the blue eyes. And so we have an Anchor Hawking Milk Glass Deviled Egg Dish here. Trimmed out in gold. Look how pretty the bottom is. The bottom's always more pretty than the top. <laughs> uh, these are peppered on eBay. Lots of them there. They're ranging for about 6 to 12 so not much profit on that. And that one had quite a bit of gold damage. Let's check out the Nicky Knacks. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is so cute. Oh, it's a planter too. Come on. Now, this is something I'm not going to ship, but I'll definitely snag it if the price is okay for my own porch. Some plants in it in the spring. $4. Awesome. That's a great deal. <laughs> I'm kind of in love with this. That's so great. I'll put that on my garden in the spring. Well, that deck was a nice surprise. Let's see what else we can find. What are these? These are like those burwood pieces. I've never seen this one before. I do like to pick those up. Uh, $2 for the set, I believe. Kind of like Southwestern. Um, trying to see what the other one is. Come on, elastic, work with me. Okay, so we got a little buffalo and some vases on there, a little cacti. Cute. So definitely let me know in the comments if you guys are seeing anything today. What would you pick up? If you are at the store, I always like to hear what everyone would have put in their cart. It's always interesting. Suze 109. I'm not sure what this is, but it's kind of cute. And I like that the butterfly is like on a spring. It's kind of sweet. A couple seals here. Got some boo boo noses. <laughs> I feel like I kind of like this piece. It's kind of wholesome, so I might snag that. It's got a cat on it, right? <laughs> I'm drawn to this because it's yellow, of course. Uh, just as it's an accessory, probably for like makeup brushes or something like that. It's kind of cute. I dig the color for sure. I'm trying to get to this lady back here to check her out. Is she looking at a lemon? What is that? 1966. I don't know the price though. It's like ripped off. That's too bad. She's got a little boo boo in her bun. <laughs> oh, she's looking at a flower. It's not a lemon. This must be her sister down here. Oh, she's fancy. Look at her. Fancy girl. Charlene. Her tag is also ripped off. What is going on? That's so weird. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be any damage on her. I probably would definitely snag her depending on the price. Uh, she's pretty great. <laughs> it's really well done as a hobbyist piece, but I think it looks really nice. Here's some owls. These look like someone just stamped some owls on like a little trivet, like a little DIY. Oh, four bucks. <laughs> What else do we have? Oh, some little wall sconces. What is that? Like putty for the candle? I've never seen that done. Six dollars. Oh, it's three pieces. Where's the other one? The ones. Where are they? Okay, here's one. Three pieces, okay. 
take a scavenger hunt here. Let's check this over. It's pretty cute. It's kind of a, uh, oh, it's a little chipped. Of course it's chipped. <laughs> Let's see how the other one is. And so if I can find the other one, I said a two makes more sense if it's not damaged. Um, that one doesn't look too bad. If I can find the other one. Oh, here it is. Um, I'm not sure. The price is really good on those. I think I'm going to pass because of the size and the weight of them. I think shipping is going to be a little much. Oh, check these out. These are Otagiri. Little poppy bowls. I mean, Japanese. Uh, set of three. Six dollars, so two dollars each. Uh, it's pretty good. I believe they go for about ten a piece, so... Yeah, I'm definitely going to snag those. Hopefully the condition's good on the other ones. It's always hard when they're all wrapped up in tape. A little Lusterware bowl down here. Made in Korea. It's cute. Oh, it's like a pewter owl frame. This is adorable. I could get this for the owl train. Oh no, look at his little foot. It's bent. Yeah, that's not going to last long. I didn't see much for artwork. I did spy this needlework cardinal piece. They're really great for the winter season, I think. Or for anyone that likes cardinals. It's $4. I think that's very reasonable. And yeah, I'll probably put that over on knickknacks. A look at this really cool shell boat I found. It's kind of like a pirate boat or clipper. They did such a good job on this. It's so fun. $6. Originally $5. <laughs> And uh, I don't really do well with reselling nautical. Obviously, living in New England, I find a lot of it, but I don't know. My audience just doesn't seem to like nautical as much as uh, my area does, so I don't really pick it up that much. This is actually cute for a mouse. A little cookie jar here. He's a happy mouse. I love the hand-painted florals on it. It's quite large. Cookie jars. If I still have my booth, I feel like I would pick this up for my booth. But let's see, what, what's the price? $10 hiding out under there. That's definitely cute, but I'm not going to ship that. Look at this jacket. Isn't this great? It's a kid's jacket. I wish it was my size. I would wear this. <laughs> a little corduroy. $13. Yeah, I have boys, so... I'm going to leave this one here today, but it's super cute. I like looking at these zipper pouches. Uh, I like this one. I think I'm going to snag this one for Trippyville. Uh, the vibe is right, so we'll add that to the cart. It's always kind of a jumbled pile dig here, so you never know what you might find. It's kind of cute. These little zipper pouches are super handy. I like organizing my purse uh, with them, like putting different categories in the purse so it's not, everything's not all jumbled. Look at this one, the iridescent. Isn't that cute? <laughs> Two dollars on that. That's a fun one. I don't know what else goes down here. I'm still digging. Now this looks like a Vera Bradley one. Yeah, it's Vera. $5 on that. That looks older. It's got some age to it, doesn't it? It has one of those, like, metal... Was it hard to open with one hand? There we go. Almost there. <laughs> uh, it's a little dirty inside, a little bit stained. Um, I don't know how easy that is to clean up, but... Be a cute little clutch for somebody. You guys seeing any clutches you like here? Little bags. That one's kind of wild. I don't know. It's kind of a lot to sift through. I can do it for a little bit, but then I'm kind of over it after a while. My hand gets tired. <laughs> a Q pig? What is that? Oh, like Cupid. <laughs> 
I get it. <laughs> Almost looks like Vera too. Yeah. So six dollars on that one. Oh, it has a matching little zipper pouch for five. Uh, that could be a cute set together. I might get those too. This one's cute too. I kind of like that. It's kind of 70s. I found this scarf here. It looks older to me. So I'm trying to find the tag, the maker tag. Um, here we go. Yeah. Hard to get it to unbend there, but it's made in Japan. So it is a little older. I'm gonna snag that one. It's pretty good. It doesn't want to go. It doesn't want to leave its friends. <laughs> well, let's take a better look at it. There we go. There. <laughs> Two bucks on that. Sorry, guy, but you're coming home with me. All right, is there anything else? Are we all done playing tug of war with the scarves? Can I find anything else? That is very vibrant. Looks very 1960s. I really gotten into scarves the last few years, so I like to pick them up. Look at this one, it's like a splattered paint. That definitely has to have some age to it too. It's polyester, I can see that much. Uh, made in Italy, cool. That's a fun one. Nice. Yeah, it's tugging. Tugging a little bit, not as bad as the other one. This one doesn't mind going home with me. <laughs> oh, my favorite, 70s stoneware plates. I do have these ones already. $6 for one plate. Um, a little scratched up too. Um, I would pick these up to resell. That one's chipped too, you see that? No, that's too bad. These ones are really beautiful. Yeah, I would have picked them up to resell, but um, Six dollars a plate with damage. Um, it's probably not gonna work for me, so we're gonna walk away. And look what I found: some Tupperware in the '70s colors. These are fine. Now I don't really use plastic, but '70s Tupperware is so cute to me. Um, I know Tupperware is very popular over on whatnot, and I have a 1970s decor train coming up tomorrow actually Tuesday so I think I'm gonna snag these the price is missing uh, let's see I think I'm gonna take them up front and definitely see what I can do on them because I think these will do well there's yet another item with a rip tag there's definitely something going on here check these out how 1970s perfect are these little vinyl placemats those are fantastic. I don't see a price. So if you happen to be watching this before November 7th, we are doing a Love of 70s train over on Whatnot. Here is the schedule. All times are Eastern. I hope you guys head over and check us out. And yeah, I'll probably be doing more shopping than uh, selling myself. I love 70s. All right, so we are over in the linens. We're checking out some of the crocheted blankets. Five dollars on this one. Beautiful colors. The way they have gone ahead and crocheted it, there's, it's like the holes are very loose, like it's kind of stretched out. So I think I'm going to pass on that one. It doesn't seem like it's uh, formed very well. This one, however, looks very well made and intact. Super great colors. I think I'm going to pick this up for the 70s train for sure. $5 on that. So we'll throw that in the 70s train on whatnot on Tuesday. 
This one is very colorful. Look at that. It'd be really good for March. <laughs> it's quite large. $5. I don't know. This one's heavy. It's, that one would be very hard to photograph and show. I don't know. I kind of like to get the little bit more throw blanket size. This one's kind of nubby and hairy as well, so I think I'm going to pass. What are these fun guys I just discovered in the toy aisle? Six dollars. What is that? Is it a uh, peach? Yeah. Lushy peach. <laughs> Country yumkin? Is that what it says? Made in the USA, I think is what it said. Okay, what's this guy? Pineapple. Juicy pineapple. Country yumkin. Del Monte? Like the canned fruit they put out little plushies? I didn't know that. Did you guys know that? I'm forever picking up farm animals like this little cow. That's really darling. Oh, it's Temptations. That's interesting. Temptations uh, dinnerware sells very well. Six dollars. Uh, maybe. What's the condition? Oh, I'm seeing some crazing though. One final cat. Let's check this out. Four dollars. Oh, he's kind of cute. It's a little bank. He's missing its plug. Nantucket, I think it's like a Christmas tree shop brand. All right, so let's talk a bit more about today's Goodwill Thrift Haul. I picked up this cross-stitch piece here. This will be over on Knickknacks for sale. Uh, you can go buy it right now, actually. And I will have a discount code down below where you can get $5 off your first purchase. I believe you do have to spend at least 10 though. This also is a nice needlework piece that I'll put up over at Knickknacks. And then we got the Tupperware, the five-piece 1970s Tupperware set. Now, this didn't have a price on it. She ended up putting $6 on the pieces here for the set. And she did something really cool, and I'll show you guys in just a second. But these here, this little set, will be available in my 1970s train tomorrow. And then, you know how this placemat set here didn't have a price tag? She included that in the price with the Tupperware, so she made it a little set, which I thought was really great. So I got all of that for $6. Those two will be in the 70s train. In the Owl train on Saturday, I am actually raiding into Kate at Follow That Bug Vintage, and I found this, the Love Bug keychain, so I thought that would be perfect for the last item before I raid her. And then we got some of the scarves. We got the little paint splatter. We got the vintage Japan one. And this one here was made in the USA. I thought it was pretty. And I like the fact that it was made in the USA. So this is what it looks like. I don't think you guys get to peek that one too much in the video. But yeah, I thought it was pretty vibrant. The little squiggles in the corner kind of reminded me of the 90s kind of like Saved by the Bell vibes, just kind of reminded me of that era, and I thought it was kind of cool, so. So this little 1983 plushie set, uh, one didn't have a price, so she ended up just giving the both to me for $6, which was great, and yeah, they seem to be fairly good vintage condition, they didn't seem that bad. I love that they were anthropomorphic, and those would probably go in my toy train on whatnot. So here is the crochet blanket that I picked up. Perfect for my 1970s whatnot sale. Kind of want to keep it, not going to lie, but I will put it in my sale. It is like a throw blanket size, and I think they did such a beautiful job on it. I love the different tones of yellow and little pops of green. It's great. So I got these little Vera bags. One was five and the other one was six, I believe. Uh, I thought it was a cute little set. I'm not sure if I'm keeping that or if I will sell it, um, but it might come up for sale eventually, and like I said, I was getting this for the next trippy bell train. I thought it was perfect. And then we are at our cat items. So I got the cat tray. Uh, let me tell you, when I was waiting in line to cash out, I got so many compliments on this tray. The two ladies checking out behind me really enjoyed it. The cashier was raving about it as well. So it is very desirable, I would imagine. <laughs> so it's super cute. was happy to pick that up. And then this little bag here had the Siamese 
cats, the bone china, they're very dirty. They need in need of a very uh, good bath, but they seem to be in good condition. I didn't see any repairs or anything. So that was good for $2. And then this little batch of kittens here I got as well. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to put these right up on knickknacks or I might save them for a future cat train. So we'll see where it lands. But if you're interested in any of those, just leave me a comment and I definitely can put up on knickknacks. And so I have knickknacks linked down below in the description. If you go over and you make a purchase for your first purchase, uh, you can use my code NESTINGHAVEN for $5 off. And yeah, I hope you guys will check us out over there. We are very excited about the new platform that Crazy Lamp Lady has put out and the small group of us that are getting it started here in the soft opening and for the big grand opening on November 26th. So you definitely can head over and shop now. There's over a thousand items that everyone has listed. And yeah, go check it out. All right, we'll catch you in the next one, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you are subscribed and click that button down below. If you're not, hit the like button and we will catch you in the next one.